I'm in a crop here that's been squaring now for about the last week and a half. At this crop stage, the vegetative branches won't have any fruit present, whereas the fruiting branches will. So if you're looking at the retention on this crop, it's really important to be only assessing the retention on those fruiting branches and not be confused by the vegetative branches, thinking that there's fruit missing when in fact those fruit were never there. I've pulled a plant out here so I can show you the difference between the vegetative and fruiting branches. This plant's about 10 nodes and I've pulled the main stem leaves off so you can get a clear idea of where the branches are. Lower down we've got the seed leaves and you can see some buds there that might turn into branches down the track. If we go up to the first branch and if we pull the leaves down on this branch you can see that there's no square present and there's no scar from where a square might have been so that is a vegetative branch. The first four branches are all vegetative and there's no fruiting positions on those branches yet. And it's not until we get to this fifth branch that you can clearly see the square there. So that there is actually our first fruiting branch. And if we go to the next branch, there's the next square. That square is about to shed from a bit of mirror damage. And if I touch this square, that square sheds, but you can see clearly that scar from where the square has been. So those other branches lacked that scar. So you can see the importance of understanding the difference between those branch types, because on this 10 node crop, really we've only got two or three fruiting positions per plant at this stage. And it'd be easy to make the mistake thinking that you've lost quite a bit of fruit when indeed you haven't. In some seasons, that first fruiting branch may not appear until nodes nine or 10. In other years, it'll appear at node six. So I hope this demonstration gives you the confidence to tell the difference between these branch types, particularly when you're looking at retention and making early season pest management decisions.